Welcome to East Coast Elk Reviews. Today, we got another whiskey review. This is Winchester Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. 45% alcohol by volume, 90 proof. I picked up this nip for $2. Um, Sign says, aged a minimum of two years in New Oak, produced and bottled by OZ Tyler Distillery, Orangeboro, Kentucky. Product of USA, it says. On the side of it, it says Winchester, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Bourbon is America's native spirit as desired by an act of Congress in 1964. Winchester, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey is part of this American tradition. Premium Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, traditionally distilled, barrel aged for a minimum of two years in New White Oak. So yeah, gonna pop this open, check out the color. Got my rock glass. Do you wanna do me a favor, Ashley? Can you just look up Winchester Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey on Total Wine and find the price of the 750? It should be like the first one that pops up. I believe it's like 25, 23 or something like that. Winchester Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Definitely a little bit darker than the last one I did, the two stars. This one has more of like a light caramel color to it. $21.99 for a 750. That's the Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey one. Okay. So yeah, $22 for a 750. Nice alcohol lights on the glass. Nose. But this one, for being $22, a little bit more complex. Get some nice vanilla and Dried fruit notes. They're like plum and raisins. Give you a little bit of apple. Definitely caramel, vanilla. Some of that oak as well. Not much ethanol on the nose. Maybe that's just the type of glass. I'm not really getting much ethanol. For 45%, it smells uh, pretty calm. I'm not getting much spices as well. But yeah, like I said, this one is a little bit more complex than the last one. Getting like some sweet corn. Probably because it's like a young whiskey. But nothing really offensive taste it's actually very light and subtle getting caramel vanilla some oak and spice really not much spice um, it does it does have a very short finish I am picking up like a little bit of like a citrusy orange and maybe some of those apples as well Maybe like some brown sugar. Yeah, um, there's the spice. Actually, after the after the second or third sip, you start picking up some more of the spice. Um, yeah, this one's kind of middle of the road as well. Um, it does actually have a decent amount of spice now that I say it. The aroma wasn't very spicy. It was a little bit more subtle and calm. First sip, pick it up more of the initial flavors. And then once you keep sipping it, I think the spice starts to linger. A little dry stringent oak. Yeah, caramel vanilla, kind of like the corn and that citrus. For $22 for a 750, it's not amazing, but it's not bad. It's got some decent flavor to it. I do like the little bit of citrusiness. Um, it does taste kind of young. 45%, 90 proof. It does taste a little thin as well. Um, I've tasted bourbons at 90 proof that had much more of a mouthfeel than this one. But like I said, not nothing terrible. Uh, more subtle, calm flavors with a spicier finish. Um, I know online when I was looking this up, because I was looking for the mash bill, I couldn't really find it. A lot of people were saying that this is good in cocktails. So I could see it working really well in cocktails with that spicy finish. Um, 
As far as the sipper, it's not too bad. It doesn't really burn that much. It just doesn't have the viscosity of a 90 proof that I'm kind of used to. Like I said, it's a little thin. Um, the flavor is kind of lacking in my opinion, but it's decent. I'm gonna give this one like a, for $22, I'll give it like an 82 out of 100. Definitely worth it. If you're looking for a good uh, a bourbon to mix with cocktails, I recommend trying this one. As far as sipping neat, I think there's better stuff out there. And uh, yeah, there you have it. If there's anything else that you guys like to see on my channel, definitely leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more quick videos. I like your beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.